Eko de de asikoi. Hello everyone, welcome to ispeakyorubatu.com. This is your one-stop place for everything Yoruba language. Thank you for learning Yoruba language with I Speak Yoruba Too. Hello beautiful people. Eka Bosi, I Speak Yoruba Too. I am Enyala. I hope you're all in good health. Thank you so much for listening to I Speak Yoruba 2 podcast lessons. So this lesson is a bit of a review and a build up of our last lesson, okay? In lesson 7, you learned how to build short B verb sentences using the Yoruba word ni, which is equivalent to the English B verbs is, am, and are. Did you try to practice building the sentences? Mm. It would be good if you did, and I really want to believe that you did. Because <laughs> I know you, my listeners, are a good learner, and I know you all want to speak real Yoruba to your friends and family as soon as possible. So, I want to believe your practice. <laughs> right, okay. So, I explained that uh, the word ni always come after a noun or a pronoun in a verb sentence. And a quick refresh. Uh, example is iwe ni, iwe ni, it is a book. Or omi ni, omi ni, it is water. So what we are doing today is um, to build up these sentences going a step further by adding these words. Yi and she, yi. Yi and she, she. Please pay attention to the sound of these words. Okay, yi means this, and she also means the English B verbs is, am, and are, but they are used uh, differently from how ni is used. You, you remember ni also means is, am, and are, okay? So the way we use she and ni are both different. I will explain the difference between them and I will also let you know when and how to use them, okay? But at the end of this lesson, you will be able to uh, say something like um, this is X, Y, Z or ask is this X, Y, Z or as well say what is this? Okay, let's begin. Here are some uh, familiar examples <laughs> from our last lesson. Okay, oko ni, oko ni. Remember, oko ni means it is a car. All right. So now listen to this sentence and see if you can tell me the difference. Oko ni, oko. Ni yi. Oko ni yi means this is a car. Did you notice that there is a little difference to the way ni sound in this sentence? Listen again. Oko ni yi. Ni yi. Our previous sentence is oko ni. The way ni sound in the sentence is not high or low but middle tone okay oko ni ni is middle tone it is a car okay but ni in the sentence oko ni has a lower tone to it ni 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 and ni both means is but they sound different when it is used with a this or it sentence. Okay? It's a bit confusing, I know, but it will get clearer. Right? Also, when ni is used with ye in a B verb sentence, it becomes a single word. Ni ye. Ni ye. So ni and ye becomes one word instead of two. Ni yi, ni yi. So, in this example, oko ni yi, 
means this is a ka oko niji. In literal translation, it will be ka is this. <laughs> Your reverse sentence seems to <laughs> work backwards, isn't it? <laughs> but it's not all the sentences, I promise you. <laughs> you will come to understand better in future lessons, okay? Oko niji. Oko niji means this is a ka. Omi ni. Omi ni means it is water. Omi niji. Omi niji means this is water. Iwe ni. Iwe ni means it is a book. Iwe niji. Iwe niji means this is a book. Are you getting a bit familiar with the subtle difference between ni and ni? Hmm? Okay, let's look at one more sample sentence. Emi ni. Emi ni. It is me. Emi ni. Emi ni means this is me. Benny, Eniola ni. Yes, this is Eniola. Emi ni. This is me. Well done, everyone. Now you know how to say this is X, Y, Z. So now, how would you ask, is this X, Y, Z? At the beginning of the sentence, I introduced you to two words, right? Ye and she. Now, this is where she comes into the picture. She means is, am, or are when it's used in a question form. When you want to ask a B-verb question in Yoruba, you will use both she and ni in the question. All right, so back to our sample sentences. Oko niji, this is a ka. Let's see, how are we gonna turn this into a question? It is simple. All you need to do is put she at the beginning. She oko niji. She oko niji. Is this a car? Can you see how she and ni is used in the question? She comes at the very beginning of the question. Okay, it is good to know that she is not limited to just the B verbs, all right? You can turn almost, almost every Yoruba sentence into a question just by adding she at the beginning of the sentence. She something, something. She this, she that, all right? Uh, let's look at some more examples. Emi niji. Emi niji, this is me. She emi niji, she emi niji, is this me? Very easy, isn't it? <laughs> All right, let's look at more. Iwe niji, iwe niji, this is a book. She iwe niji. She iwe niji. Is this a book? Omi ni. Omi ni. It is water. She omi ni. She omi ni. Is it water? Is it water? She Omini Oluko Nimi Oluko Nimi I am a teacher. She Oluko Nimi She Oluko Nimi 
Am I a teacher? Akeko nimi. Akeko nimi. I am a student. She akeko nimi. She akeko nimi. Am I a student? Are you getting the idea of how it works? It's really simple, isn't it? All you just need to do is practice. Okay, let's look at two more examples. Oluko ni won. Oluko ni won. They are teachers. They are teachers. She oluko ni won. She oluko ni won. Are they teachers? Akeko ni won. Akeko ni won. They are students. She akeko ni won. She akeko ni won. Are they students? Are you enjoying this lesson so far? <laughs> I hope you really are. Okay, we have just one more phrase away to the end of this lesson. You learned how to say what is it in lesson seven, which is kini, right? So today you will learn how to say kini ji, kini ji. What is this? The same thing happens to kini when you add ji to it. It becomes ni ji as one word, okay? Ki ni ji. All right. Ki ni. What is it? Ki ni ji. What is this? Ki ni ji. Iwe ni ji. Ki ni ji. Omi ni ji. What is this? It is a book. What is this? It is water. All right. And that is it, beautiful people. Well done, everyone, and thank you for listening to this lesson. As always, I really appreciate your support. If you feel confused or you just don't understand anything, you can always ask me questions, as in stay connected on my social media platform. I'm always on Instagram at I Speak Yoruba too. okay? So just pop up the question and I'll be happy to help you out. All right? That's it from Enyala today and I will see you all again soon. Odabo!